Hi there, my name's Aaron, and uh, it's good we just had the photography talk because I'm going to talk a little bit of a specific type of photography, and that type of photography is hot, steamy train porn. Yeah. What is train porn, you might ask? Well, it you know, it's great photos of trains and railroads and everything surrounding them and you start talking about it on Twitter and soon there's a hashtag and all of a sudden it's called train porn. I got into train porn on my honeymoon like every boy. I liked trains as a child. Um, and then I grew up and my wife and I went on our honeymoon down to the Los Angeles area in 2000. And we came back on a train and it rekindled my interest in railroading and specifically railroading photography. Steam is hot. People love photos of steam trains. The city of Portland has three different steam engines and when they go out and run there's you know, caravans and caravans of people out there chasing the trains. And those caravans and caravans of people, you know, there's nice terms for us. There's terms like rail fan. Um, there's the questionable terms like foamer, which is somebody who foams at the mouth when they see a train. <laughs> And then there's the terms like the FRN, you know, which stands for effing rail nut. <laughs> there's all sorts of opportunities with train porn. Sometimes you get a chance to go behind the scenes, check out what's going on, you know, look at the bits underneath. <laughs> a lot of times you have to go get a little bit creative when you're uh, looking for a train shot. I shot this off the side of the I-205 bridge in Vancouver, Washington. Uh, it turned out the best shot was actually when you were parked directly under the emergency parking only sign. <laughs> but you've got to do what you've got to do. Um, crazy train porn will happen in all sorts of places. This was up in Alaska, the Alaska Railroad. We go up to visit the family up there. You know, everybody wants to go take pictures of Denali and things like that. No, I'm going to go down south of Anchorage and take pictures of the trains. Train porn can happen at night. Um, took this in Hillsboro. Uh, this is the western terminus of Portland's light rail line. Um, once again, got some elevation here, taking some pictures of the uh, the Max trains. And uh, just like anything else, there's a lot of different opportunities. Some of them are action, some of them are not. Uh, sometimes you get artsy fartsy with the black and white stuff. You have to deal with some creative lighting situations. Um, and there's a lot of different varieties for that. Here's a train porn photo that doesn't even have a train in it. <laughs> train porn is an activity you can engage in year round. This was up, uh, up near Willamette Pass. Um, if you've ever driven up Highway 58 outside of Eugene, you'll end up going underneath the Salt Creek Trestle. Just like regular porn, train porn is completely legal, but sometimes you're going to get hassled. This is down in Crockett, California. This is my rental car. That's my buddy getting hassled by the security guard from the CNH sugar plant, who really didn't like the fact we were taking pictures of their plant, even though it's perfectly legal. As I mentioned before, you can do it in the winter, in the spring. Um, I've been in Needles, California when it's like 120 degrees shooting train porn. I've been doing it when it's snowy and uh, quite stormy. This was last year in Vancouver. <laughs> Some of the times the trains aren't always predictable. So here I've got a nice pair of Canadian Pacific engines in the Columbia River Gorge. So if you're a FOMA or an FRN or a rail fan, you get kind of excited when there's rare things that come around rather than the trains that you see all the time. Along that same lines, every once in a while you get a unique opportunity that you just can't really replicate. This was a uh, train that ran to commemorate the 100th, or the, yeah, the 100th anniversary of the Lewis and Clark expedition. I uh, ran from Portland to Astoria and only ran for a couple of years. Up in the mountains you can find some interesting landscape opportunities. Um, sometimes you have to do a little bit of rock climbing or uh, bouldering to get up and get a nice shot of the trains and you know when you get the serious rail fans we'll get all excited about what type of engine it is what type of locomotive and things like that <laughs> no the caboose shot isn't at the end of my presentation there's actually a reason for that because I have better shots for the end we all know how you know porn usually wraps up at the end but <laughs> again one of the action photos uh, down in Southern California this is actually shot at like 930 at night just after sunset uh, passing Amtrak train going by on a station platform down there. <laughs> yeah.
I believe that's my most popular photo I've ever taken on Flickr of any subject. So don't be ashamed of your train porn. It's okay. You can get out there. Um, you can check out dogcot.com, which is a site I run with a couple other people with a whole bunch of train porn on it. Thank you.